Now, on to, we have the Distinguished Service Award. This award recognizes significant volunteer service benefiting the greater good, philanthropic leadership, or service to the Minnetonka Alumni Association. The recipient of the 2022 Distinguished Service Award is James Turner from the class of 1969. James traveled annually to Guatemala with the volunteer surgical team for 20 years to help those without access to proper medical treatment until retiring in 2018. Introducing James is his classmate and former Distinguished Service Award winner, Bill Lober from the class of 1969. Good morning. It's with great pleasure that I introduce this year's winner of the Minnetonka Distinguished Service Award, Dr. James Turner, class of 69. My name is Bill Lober. I've been Jim's friend for 66 years. We went to school together up to and including University of Minnesota. After graduation, me and three other folks went down to Central America on a 12,000 mile road trip all the way down to Nicaragua. We fell in love with uh, Guatemala. And when we returned, Jim went to medical school and upon graduation, he formed a medical practice in Waconia. Some years later, Jim was invited to join another group of surgeons on a medical mission down to Guatemala. Jim did this for over 20 years, participating in over 1,000 surgeries. Unlike better known medical missions that are very well funded, Jim and his colleagues paid their own way and bought their own medical supplies for these 20 years of work they did. For a while, the Guatemala uh, political climate made it very difficult for them to operate in Guatemala, so they moved their operation to Philippines to do the same thing for a couple years. Later, Jim arranged with his home hospital, Ridgeview Medical Center, to have $250,000 worth of medical equipment shipped to a new hospital in Guatemala. This is a new hospital, but they lacked modern medical equipment, so Jim sent this equipment there. He and his fellow colleagues also arranged for a two-year scholarship for a young staff member from Guatemala to be properly trained so they could service and maintain this equipment. Jim also arranged with his church to have a van sent to Guatemala, a fully equipped van that they could use as an ambulance. As if this weren't enough evidence of Jim's generosity in sharing his many gifts, He's also a world-class award-winning watercolor artist who helps many young people perfect their artistic skills at the Minnetonka Center for the Arts, the Arboretum, West Tonka Middle School, and Mound High School. I am honored to know Jim. He has a true servant's heart, and this is what the Minnetonka Alumni Association Distinguished Service Award embodies. Paraphrasing the immortal words of Yogi Berra, thank you, Jim Turner, for making this wonderful award ceremony necessary. Congrats, my friend. And please welcome James to the stage. Thank you very much. I, uh, this is the first time I've seen that video, and, and uh, there's a, a few exaggerations in there. Uh, but uh, I want to thank the Alumni Association here for the award, uh, for uh, all of the awards, and I've been to these ceremonies before. Uh, it, it's a wonderful thing to recognize uh, alumni, new and old, uh, and uh, there's a couple of people I'd like to recognize. First of all, my old friend, my oldest friend, uh, and fellow uh, alumni award winner, Bill Lober. Thank you for, for nominating me and going through all the work of, of the nomination and the, and the uh, introduction. I really appreciate that. Um, there's uh, one thing I want to say about, about receiving this award is that for, for two reasons, it's a little bit embarrassing. And the first reason is that although I did in fact travel to, to uh, Guatemala for 20 years, donate my services and uh, uh, make, help to make uh, the new hospital and it's in uh, uh, the mountainous regions of Guatemala on a, on a lake called Atitlan, uh, life slight typo here. I did this along with a group of people that varied from 25 to 50 people, and all of them not only donated their time and their expertise, their energy and their compassion, but also, as Bill mentioned, paid their own way, paid their airfare, their lodging, their uh, uh, food and donated a stipend to help the hospital to afford to provide the services we were there for. Uh, along with those 50 people, uh, there were the support people, uh, people like my wife, Kristen, who stayed home with the kids while I was off traveling 
and later when the kids grew up was able to come along and volunteer her expertise in nursing in the recovery room. I have found out uh, through, through long conversations with my peers that my experience is not unusual. That among the physicians, nurses, support people that I know, many, many have done similar things, have traveled to other countries, have traveled to Guatemala specifically. I'm willing to bet that within this room, uh, there are dozens of people who have donated either time or money to missions within the United States, to Habitat for Humanity, for uh, help with hurricane relief, for help with the underserved communities for medical services. Uh, and, and I feel like that is more a common thing than an exception. I'm honored to be up here receiving this award, but I want to receive it on behalf of all of the people who have contributed to the same efforts I have. The second reason it's, it's a little embarrassing me for, for me to be here receiving this uh, is one that I think is very common, if not universal, among volunteers, and that's that we come home richer for having done the service that we, that we do. That at the end of the trips, we sit and we talk about the week that went by, the, the, the long hours and the, and the efforts, the failures and the successes, and we wonder where we can sign up to come back because we are enriched by the experience. Uh, I'm going to accept this award and I'm going to treasure it, but I'm doing it with those reservations and for all those other people who have done the same thing. Thank you. <laughs>